From the humble Fiat Punto to the Boeing 747, or maybe they're riding private jets, one of the hardest working bands in the UK, playing over 150 gigs a year, just landed on the tarmac from their US tour, achieving top 10 success with their most recent album entitled FM. Please welcome Jamie, Marcia, John and Josh, the Skins. Hi guys. Hey. Hi. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Thanks very much. No problem. It's great to have you here. Now, the first thing I have to speak about is so many dates. When do you get to rest? You know, um, when do you when do you get to just kick back and relax? <laughs> I was looking at the ceiling. Uh, we do. Like, there's you. You get tired. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like right now, we're in the middle of like festival season, mm. which is obviously a lot of shows. But it's kind of like a reverse working week. How yes. like any you know most people work in the weekdays have weekends off we're kind of just on the opposite so that's good yeah so weeks we can, are your we, weeks recovery and then you're good by friday and then you burn yourself out all over the weekend <laughs> and then come that's back the way and, to do it. and yeah. what do you do for fun what's what do you do to relax um video games Jamie's i was gonna say video games no, that's, uh, definitely thinking. video games and i don't know music all the time making music listening making to music, music listening to music all of the things all of the same with music <laughs> that's good well you are yeah. musicians yeah. that's yeah. fantastic that's good well um you've been touring the uk europe the us of a how was your first us tour how were you received marcia um really well our first us tour was actually just over a year ago mm -hmm. um what was that tour 
Was it? It, it was a. It was a bit in East. Um, yeah. yeah, that was it. It was the East, 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 East Style Stars um, nice. around the East Coast, and then we went over to the West Coast and supported a band called Fortunate Youth, um, and I think we were all really surprised at how well it seemed to go down. Like yes. they immediately got what we we're trying to do. Um, they seemed very glad to hear it, and they were a pleasure <laughs> to play to. And um, I think a couple of us had been to America on brief holidays, but like it was my first time, and Going it was there and working. Uh, there. It was amazing. For the, just on in that way, it was amazing for me. Brilliant. Yeah. And you know, your music is based in reggae. I know we're not genre specific, um, but based in reggae. Have you ever been to the Caribbean? Have you ever taken your music back to the islands? <laughs> no, we're working on it though. Fantastic. It, and yeah. it's something you want to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. And do you it's feel... like a mecca kind of thing for us. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, literally. Yeah. And um, do you feel apprehensive? Are you sort of thinking how will they receive us? Or are you kind of um, comfortable in your own skin, so to speak, that yeah. you're taking your brand? No, we over? know. We know who we are. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, we've never. We've played. At this point, we've played with like a lot of Jamaican reggae artists yes. from the New Bloods to the Legends, and we've only ever been like received with love by them. We've been getting like radio play like uh, in Jamaica from a guy called Ron Machette, like did an interview of him and stuff. Fantastic. Um, you know, and the response, the response has only been cool so far. So. And do you yeah. think it would give you some inspiration, you know, going there, soaking up the sun, obviously eating the food? It, uh, yeah, do you think yeah. it would help you to create and, and pull you out in a different direction? Jo? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just like the weather alone, just like being in that heat. It's <laughs> <just, laughs> yeah. yeah. right. a good, a good yeah. helping of jerk chicken. It yeah. really does. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We're always just... talking about that, though. Like doing recording in the sun, it makes such yes. a difference. Like It does, it, yeah. Something about yeah. like humidity maybe makes it just... <laughs> But I do want to ask, because even though, yes, it's based in reggae, you have your own sound, you have this British reggae, if we can call it that. What is the source? What What is it, that the sound that you hear that you're always trying to sort of put into your songs? I think it's more of an energy than a sound, because... Like, can, you, can you sum up what that energy is? Um, I don't know, like, the thing is, is that we, we're drawing from so many different eras and influences. Yes. That... Um, it's quite it's quite hard to like lock down like you know arts arts if you listen across our albums there's so many different like tempos and moods mm. um going on that is yeah it's all just about if every one is kind of individualistic they stand on their yeah. own yeah i don't know not like you know so like, oh we've got this like <laughs> ridiculous body of work but do you know what i mean like there's all it's quite a lot of different flavors going on that make up Sure. And are you inspired by love? Are you inspired by friendships? What what inspires you when you're writing the music, Jamie? Yeah, a bit of really. I don't know everything. You just kind of draw on reality. Yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I, I I tend when I write myself, I tend to kind of gravitate towards uh, the subject, I guess, of love and heartbreak a lot of the time. But it's not always, you know, like that that same vibe and, and obviously like Josh and Marcia bring their own individual vibes to that yes. whole thing as well. So it's fantastic. It, it's all it's all very much like mixed bag really. No, I could I could definitely see that in rehearsal. You bounce off each other so well. Yeah. I know that you met at school, you've known each other for years. Um touring with each other though mm. you know <laughs> oh, I oh no 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 that, that wasn't, that wasn't <laughs> no, a funny oh, no. was about to be set <laughs> <Yeah>. free <laughs> um you do come across like a great family but do you know how to give each other space on tour do you need to have space or you just understand each other marcia tell me yeah absolutely like touring is um i don't know how to describe mm -hmm. it it takes some technique um and yeah they are a bit like your family and um yeah, I don't know. We, we're we very, very good at reading each other, um, whatever vibes or energies we're on in one day or weird mood, you know, and anything. You know when yeah, to give each other we, space. We and... generally know, but, you know, it's, it's, I think, like any group of people that spend a lot of time together, sure. you have to learn to... Um, yeah, just I'd 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 say we we've got it down honestly. That's good. That's we really do good it a to hear. lot. You do like, sing. It does seem yeah. like it. It does seem. Like <laughs> it. Well, I do want to just check how well you know each other. So, John, yeah, tell me, what's uh, Marcia's favorite holiday? If she's ever been on a really great holiday, does she ever speak about a holiday? It'd probably be like, um, I reckon, like Italy, like Venice mm -hmm. or something like that. I think that's probably. 
good food. I'm not getting a nod. Marcy, how do you think? <laughs> yeah, I like Venice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. This is working so far. Um, Jamie, this is about Josh. Oh, God. No, now, no, Josh, you play guitar. Mm. Do you play other instruments? Not really. Great. I'm actually the fourth best guitarist in the band. No. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. It's better than the fifth. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so uh, what would Josh's favourite instrument be after the guitar? Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. Oh, I'm you testing the waters. What? You know what? I reckon his favourite instrument after the guitar might possibly be the piano. Because he's always like tinkering around on the piano. And <laughs> I did see that. Yeah. We, he came in so and went I, straight to the grand piano yeah. today. So that's what I would say. It's how, hard, how, it's how, are we doing, how are we doing, Josh? Well, do you know, well, I don't know. Like, I don't play the piano. <laughs> Sonically, I like to play the piano. That's what I mean. I would yeah. say, to be honest, like the, my favourite instrument is like... Um, just the drum from the dawn of civilization. Mm, that's exactly man, what I was going to say. Man yeah, communicating he wishes with the earth, just on the mountain beating the drum. <laughs> <laughs> now that that's truly rude. There we go. That's, yeah. that's yeah. truly rude. <laughs> <laughs> They're authentic. You yeah. heard They're it straight authentic. from the source. Yeah. <laughs> now you are independent artists, yeah. and being an independent artist, you're almost like the ultimate entrepreneur. You know, you have to do everything. Think creatively. How are you going to speak to your audience and sell yourselves? And this summer. You started your own event called Nice Time. How did it go uh, in Hackney, London? We're in London at the moment. In Hackney, how did it go? And what was the? Why did you want to start this event? Um, well, basically, uh, in the reggae thing in the UK, like obviously we've got like a really good uh, like history uh, with the music in this country and especially in this city. Mm. Um, but just in th- the scene in 2016, just like, I feel like there's a lot of, not like that anyone doesn't like each other, but there's just like kind of lots of little divisions in like sounds and yes. stuff. And we sort of wanted to bring together like the live band sort of world that we're involved in and like the sound system kind of scene, and put it all in the same party. So we brought uh, Jesse Royal over from Jamaica, uh, New Kingston, who are friends from the US, from New York. Um, to come do a live show and a guy called Addy Solomon came and opened up acoustic and then we got Reggae Rose Sound System from Hackney yes. and we got like Tipper Irie and Brother Culture and Solo Banton and some very classical sound That's system MCs system. yeah and it was like you know the music because we had like this, the live stage going and then like in between we had the sound system running it was just like non-stop it was not, it's not like a show yes. where like you watch band everyone goes outside it's for a, a party. cigarette it was a it's party it's a dance yeah exactly so and we, it's something we want to be able to we don't, don't want to make it just like an annual thing in London and yes. kind of predictable. We need to take it to different places and stuff. But that was the first one to prove that we could do it. And it worked. And it was So the concept, success. in reality, it yeah, works well. Yeah, it was good fun, It man. sounds great. Well, anybody that's in flight right now when they're coming to London, do check out a good reggae dance party yeah. at uh, this nice time event so you will hear more. Uh, I do want to go into some music, can we? Um, we have we have heard Just Another Girl, and I'm so excited to say that was a wonderful exclusive for us here in the in-flight live sessions. I heard from you that that is a sort of a classic in your dressing room before going on stage. What's that about, John? Uh, well, it's more of a thing that, like, Jamie and Marcia do. Like, just acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy that doesn't <laughs> sing. Yeah, I just, I just, I'm usually, like, stretching and doing stuff. Instead, um, but, um, it's true. Mad yoga, it's true. downward, yeah, downward like, dog and yeah, sun yeah, salutations. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> and what does it do does it warm up your vocals why that song Jamie um, I don't know we, we just kind of accumulate like songs that we like to sing acoustically and like that's just kind of one of those ones that's been hanging around for a, a long time and we love that song so we, we just tend to sing songs that we love and yeah. that we can kind of just warm up to and put us in a good place good before thing. a show and it's just, Jamie yeah. is always playing guitar, yeah, like yeah, always, well, and so he's just, he just—he doesn't stop. Social networking. <laughs> All I see yeah. is uh, you on the guitar, but you play drums in the band. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, what do you prefer? <sighs> to be honest with you, I, 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 I kind of prefer playing the piano. <laughs> it's coming back. Coming back. I do. I really do like prefer like playing that because I just feel more like versatility with with the piano. But I, I really love playing the guitar, and I really love playing the drums as yeah. well and the drums was kind of a very late thing that I learned to do anyway from the other like things that I could play yes so you know it's not uh, I enjoy it but it's not as precious to me 
Well, it's amazing that you're all multi-instrumentalists. I think it's great in a band because then you can mix up the sounds and change it. And I'm so intrigued. Sorry, guys. But I'm so intrigued <laughs> by, uh, by Marcia because you play uh, a whole plethora of wind instruments also. You play the flute, the saxophone. Yeah. So do you get to play them regularly as in the band and, and on stage? I do, yeah. Um, I, flute is probably my first instrument. I, I did flute and piano as like a kid growing up. Um, and yeah, I'm very lucky that I can still play them because you know sometimes you finish your exams and then you just don't touch it again. And I'm 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 really happy I can do do little Brilliant. bits. And were you classically trained on those instruments? Yeah. So then yeah. to bring it into a reggae setting was that uh, an ad- adaptation that you had to work on, or was it quite natural? For I you? just always had fun with it, really. Yeah. yeah, like I was a classical pianist, I couldn't. Um, particularly play rhythmic organ or reggae bubbles or anything like that Mm. before we did our first album I learned to do it to make that album and I've just had the best time learning developing that ever ever since basically it sounds fantastic (laughs) you're very lucky to have so much such a wide amount of instruments to be able to uh, to share with I have a question for you John yeah (laughs) <laughs> like, Whoa. what's the most random place that you've heard your song played and thought that's us uh apparently they were playing one of our tunes in the calais refugee camp fantastic it's pretty interesting to hear. spread in the joy yeah oh no way <laughs> that's news to me that's, yeah. news. Wow. that's good that's good and any other places have you been somewhere i turned the tv uh, on on sunday and we were playing on eastenders like oh, yeah, I yeah, turned yeah. the TV on yeah. and where, it was it was like my voice. Did you hear it in the market? They were like, in I guess I guess in the in the East End the sound system. That, that, yeah. they, they, they was having a clash in the dub plates or something. Can you imagine rewriting, rewriting, rewriting East End? Yeah. No, they um, it was like the I guess it was playing on the radio or whatever in the scene in in the cafe. Fantastic! It was so weird. Well, that we, means we get you tweeted are... sometimes about it, but I, I literally turn the TV on well, and you're it was part of the East so End weird. landscape. Yeah, appara- officially uh, apparently, now. the music person at uh, uh, music head of music at East End really likes us. Fantastic. So <laughs> well, that's a good connection to yeah. Have. Yeah. Well, we are on a flight with British Airways. When you are traveling by plane, and that's happening a lot, a lot more a lot, now, yeah. what can you not travel without? And it cannot be your instruments or anything to do with your gig, because hopefully you'd have your checklist and you've had those things. <laughs> <laughs> But what is something that you always have to travel with that you check? So I'm going to go along the line. We're going to start over here with Jamie. My iPod. Ah. Music on the flight. I have to. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's banned now. Okay, you share the iPod. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. all of them are looking at yeah. Same. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> we're sharing the iPod. What have you got, Marcia? Um, it's always my laptop. Like um, I, uh, I'm always like editing photos or something. Like it's just where I zone out. Nice. Or watching cartoons. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm it's kind of the same thing, but my iPad. You guys, yeah. I think you're all too similar. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. Apple sponsorship <laughs> right I, now. Yeah. I actually know everyone's you're answers, by the way. Similar as well. in this too much product placement going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give you those two electronics. I'm banning the, the okay. iPad. Give me another one. Cool. I don't know, like uh, like my Game Boy DS. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, uh, like ear, like earplugs. I'm starting to understand how uh, you last so long. No one talks to each other. Yeah, just on it. the electronics, right? Nothing electronic. No, no way. Yeah. So oh, basically, I've got a new one. Yeah. Okay. Like after years of obviously going to like petrol service stations and airports yes. with the band and seeing the neck pillows, yeah, never have one. And last year I invested, and it's just changed the game. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just, I'm, you know, like when you're sleeping in a van and, and get, all that, yeah. and you get the the cricket neck. neck. Yep. Nah, that's all, all my Me too. all my dreams I'm are coming true. <laughs> in, in a van while and I'm is sleeping. yours a stuffed one or is it a blow up? No, one? it's a foam one. So it's kind of like it's quite firm. But there's no chance of deflation. Ooh, we're getting so technical here. I tell you, <laughs> I well, know. it's the serious yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, sometimes is. you're on the plane and you're straight to sound check. So brilliant. Hundred percent. Don't that's throw life. anywhere without the, yeah. the neck pillow. Well, I need to hear some more music. I, I need to get back into the vibe. Uh, what song are we going to hear? Is from your album, the FM album. What song are we going to hear? We're going to hear "Come to You," All which right. is a little rock steady ditty sung, sung by Marcia. Nice. Take it away. But I 
Thank you.